Well, sadly, for those who are exposed to the elements, I'm afraid that the clouds have opened up and it is teeming down here. There are some fans who are going to get very, very wet. Having said which, there are almost no empty seats. It is a terrific turnout under the circumstances. There's nowhere else to go, in truth, if you want to see this much-anticipated game. So, come rain or come shine, we are here and really looking forward to it. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3 and the next time you check it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. So that's got things on the way. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, that is lovely footwork. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be... And Kuwait! Real chance! These early exchanges have been frenetic. Looks like we have a proper game on our hands, Peter. Right towards the front, then. Hoists it forward. Cuts it out. Brest have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Drives it towards the front. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. And that's been won straight back. It is deadlocked. There are a few waiting for it. Goes for the... Gets up to hit it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. <laughs> and it's played forward. Coad. Precious little by way of goal mouth action yet. Tries to get it forward quickly. The whistle goes for half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not the one to try. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. I want to review the first half. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. Mets head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. But we're already into the second period. Mets clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, 
but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. A real chance to break. Lasta. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. That's been drilled forward. Referee's given a throw. Forward it goes. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Coad. Forward it goes. Looks to play him in. It's a, a minor communications breakdown. And here's the chance to counter. He's had a go! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Mets take the lead. Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here, or dare I say, throw it away now. Toss needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Rest are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Mets produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like... And time is up. A decent win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side. And the result reflects as much. Thank you somewhat what we've witnessed, Jim. Of course...